Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to the 11th video of Playwright. In this video, we are going to learn how to interact with different types of elements that are present inside a frame or a nested frame. So let's get started now. As usual, I have created a folder called frames and within that I have a spec called frame.test.ts and all the declarations that we always have. Okay, And here I have created a test and the name is interact with frames. Now let's see the use case scenario here. So I will use my application letcode.in slash frames. In this application or in this page, we have two frames actually, interactable two frames. Okay. So one is like uh, enter the first name, the last name. Okay. So for example, I can enter my name here and then it will give you like you have entered something, right? And then we have another uh, element right so it is also available within a nested frame so in this page i can say we have like two interactable frames let me inspect and show you so right click and inspect a quick tip here once you right click here you can see we are getting options like view frame source that means of course it's within the frame if i do the same on the right hand side where i don't have the frame here you can see we do not have that option called view frame source okay we will get view page source always but not the frame so if there is only frame at that point we'll get this particular option okay now how to find how many frames are there inside this particular page is very simple we can query the x path so double slash i frame right so that is going to return me the number of frames available so here you can see we have like almost 12 frames uh, in this particular page but what I am interested is to interact with this element right so of course i have to take only those frames not all the frames so if i go and inspect this particular text box here you can see that it is within the input uh, tag and it has something name attribute everything right so if i just go upwards a little bit you can see that uh, it is again within the html so basically frame means html within the html if you have a tag another html within the html then of course it's a frame right and of course if you go above the frame i mean html you can see that we have that uh, iframe right so it will be more of like iframe or the frame but iframe is the model is the newest one of course all the pages will have iframe not the frame obviously i believe okay and it has a like id name and src is also there right so uh, of course we know that in selenium uh, if we have to interact with any of the frame we have to switch to the frame right so similar concept also applicable in playwright but the coding will definitely uh, change so let's get into that directly without me telling you more about like what is frame why frame is used everything i believe you already know that okay okay now let's see the coding part so first scenario we are going to interact with this first name and the last name right so first of all, I have to find this particular frame, right? So for that, what we have to do is we can take the name or the ID or even we can write XPath, CSS or any web element. I mean, sorry, not the web element, any uh, locator strategy in Playwright. Okay, so I will go with the name here. Um, technically name and ID both are same, but Playwright will take the name as the uh, frame element. Okay, let me show you the code. So here I'm going to say await page dot and here i have a option called frames okay uh, two options are there one is the frame and another one is the frames this frames will return you the number of frames that is present within the parent page okay so it is going to return frame of array you can just uh, uh, store it in a variable and you can log it you will get it okay i'll go with this one right so if i mouse over on this frame you can see that it is going to uh, take a frame selector that's going to be of string obviously so any locator strategy or else we can give the name or the url of that particular uh, frame or else we can also apply some rejects concept here okay so we'll take the name here so i'm going to say within the curly braces uh, the name and name of the frame is basically this one first right so what will happen if i don't have a name of course you can take any of the locators right so you can take xpath or id or any of the locator and you can give that here okay and await is not required for this so i'll just remove that and let me store that within a variable called uh, frame okay so when i find this one so this is basically one line don't get confused it's very simple only okay so page dot frame that means now our context is within this frame okay and 
now i have to find the element find this element within the frame not within the page when i say page that means this entire whole page right the entire whole page so whatever we are passing here right so page dot go to that entire page is basically resides within this page object but from the page we have extracted the frame now based on this frame object we have to interact with the element rest of the code is very simple for example i can say like frame dot uh, i have to find the element right so uh, we can use directly so i am going to fill it here type right so i am going to say fill and if you see noticed here again it's like uh, checking the uh, null right so here i can say like if frame uh, not equal to null then i am going to do some action right if that's going to be null then i can throw new error right so i can say throw new error and here i can say like no such frame why i am doing like this is basically uh, in selenium we know that when we try to switch to a frame and if the frame is not available like uh, if the index is wrong or if the locator is wrong it will throw us like no such frame exception correct but in playwright it's not going to throw us any error it will just consider the object as null and nothing will perform so to avoid that conflict we are checking if it's null if it's not null then we are going to throw the error that means our code will get stopped okay so that's it pretty much cool now here we are going to say frame dot fill and then we have to pass the locator and then followed by the value so i'm going to pass my name here and of course await okay and let's find the locator for this so i'm going to use uh, let x path and here we can see that we have a uh, seven x path and five css so we'll use the css as usual now let me give it here okay that's it very cool right now let's enter the last name as well so let me just quickly inspect and copy the value and it's going to be same code so i can just copy paste and change this locator here and the value okay so i'll pass my name like charaji okay so that's it we are pretty much done with the first frame so we have handled the frame now okay now let's run this first then we'll deep dive okay so Control j to bring up the terminal and let's navigate to that particular frame uh, folder so cd test slash frames and then i'm going to say just then followed by the file name And here you can see that we have typed the first name, the last name, and we also got the output. Of course, you can do the assert. You can just wait for the element and you can do the assert, the expect from just. Uh, but I will just leave that up to you. So if you want to do the assert, of course, you can do it. Okay. Now, let's see how to interact with this frame. Okay. So let me inspect and show you. This is actually a nested frame. So if I go back to my application and if I inspect this element, and uh, yeah so here you can see again it is within the input and then if i move forward i mean upward here you can see we have another iframe right which doesn't have any of the id or the name but it has src but we are not going to do that let me show you another way okay so basically this is the child frame of this parent frame right so from the parent frame i have to interact with the child frame let's see how to do that it's going to be very simple so if I have to compare the same technique in Selenium, I have to switch to the uh, parent frame. Then from the parent frame, again, I have to switch to the child frame, right? Uh, it is going to be more of same in playwright as well. Let me show you. So once I completed this one, let me add some comment. So I'll just name it like inner frame. And here we are going to uh, use the frame dot child frame. Okay. So child frames here, not frame, child frames. That means it's going to return me frame of array, right? So I can store that. So I can say like frames and yeah. Now I can check the size. Of course, I can check the size, uh, like how many frames are there. Uh, so let us do that, okay? So I'm just going to log it. So console.log frames.length. 
and let me add some concatenation here just to understand okay let me run it quickly okay and here you can see that it has actually number of frames inner frames basically four so within that particular page we have i mean within that particular frame we have another four uh, frames okay uh, so let me go and inspect this one first so we'll just make sure like we have like a number of frames here so if i go and inspect this one so here uh, this is my frame one and if i go little up this is my uh, another frame i believe yeah so this is my whole frame right and here also you can see we have frames and frames so that's why we are getting lots of frame here but i think this is this will be my um first child frame yeah so this is my first child frame so what can i do is i can say uh, frames of zero dot and again i can inspect that element right so i can say like fill and the locator and then followed by the value so what we have to enter we have to enter the email right so let me copy the locator from here and paste over here and here i'm going to say kaushik at mail.com okay just a dummy email um yeah that's it okay now let me go and run this again so basically we have found the first parent frame within the parent frame we have found all the child frames and within the child frame we are taking that element and we are trying to do the interaction okay it's a very simple concept it's again if you watch carefully it is again same like in selenium we used to do like a switch to switch to right so same concept here as well and it didn't type unfortunately let me show why okay it says pass but um, uh what could be wrong here basically uh okay it might be null as well so what we can so we can write a if condition here if frames of zero not i can say frames right basically frames not equal to null then i want to do this task okay uh else Okay, else I can say like a console dot log wrong frame. Okay, now let's go and run this just to make sure we are correct. Okay, sorry, uh, we have to use the await as well here, so that is also one mistake. So we have to use the await or else, of course, it don't execute properly, right? Okay, so now here you can see that it uh, typed correctly. Uh, actually, I missed the await in the previous execution. That is the reason it didn't type, but uh, yeah, the concept is very same, right? So that's my mistake, but I hope you understood, right? Okay, so uh, how to interact with frame with frame is very simple. So same thing like your Selenium driver dot switch to frame, and then we use the same driver object. But what here we are doing is actually you are taking that object. So when I switch to the frame from the frame, I am taking that frame object, and from the frame object. Uh, rest of the methods are very same so whatever the methods or functions we have accessed from the page object almost everything is there within the frame as well frame object as well it is not necessary we should name it like frame it can be your name my name just an object name okay yeah that's it so pretty much done but let me show you few other things that might be useful for example let's say that uh, i have entered the email then i want to change my last name okay so we'll create our own use case uh, so uh, what can I do is I can take the frame right so frames basically uh, is the child frame of the parent frame so I have to switch again to the parent frame right so of course I can do like this like page dot 
uh, I can copy paste the same okay yeah I can copy paste and same let's see uh, uh, without switching right uh, actually we are not switching we are just changing the object name let's see whether it's able to do of course it should do it will do so what I'm trying to do is I have interacted with the parent frame then the child frame then again I'm trying to interact with the uh, parent frame okay and the name might have changed but data is very same so you are not able to see that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to like uh, lit code maybe okay now let me run this again okay so here you can see that uh, it interacted with the parent frame first the child frame and then again it's trying to interact with the parent frame okay very simple concept but still if you wanted to do like switching from child to parent we can still do that okay so for example i can say like uh, frames that's our object so frames dot parent uh, not parent so here i have to say like uh, frames of zero dot parent frame so we have a option called parent frame that will basically return me the parent that means uh, like if you are nested like into three or four if you want to interact with the parent then you can go with the parent object and same thing we can use like uh, uh, instead of frame i can say like uh, this one right okay so here we have the youtube now let's go and run this now It will do the execution that we already did the same concept here nothing much here right so here you can see it will type strategy first then it have interacted with the email and then again it have changed to youtube because of the parent frame right so here we are using the parent frame and based on the parent we are trying to do okay so that's it pretty much simple it is very simple like selenium um, there we will use the driver object itself but here when we switch to the frame we will take that object and based on that object we'll try to do the interactions and from parent frame if you want to interact with the child frame we have a function called child frames and based on the frame allocation the like 0 1 2 index based we can use the object and we can interact with this particular uh, what we call that frames right okay so that's it for this video i hope you have learned like how to interact with frames nested frames as well um, in most of the applications nowadays frames are getting little bit restricted so as for the design perspective you cannot find lots of frames in the production application if you see like outer uh, applications like applications with different types of ads of course there will be a lot of frames but if you take any of the production applications like your application whatever you are working on there will be different i mean there will be definitely a uh, very minimal number of frames okay so just learn how to interact with the parent frame and the child frame maybe and that is sufficient okay so with that said that's it for this video see you in the next one very soon tada bye bye take care